Climate change represents one of the greatest challenges facing humanity in the 21st century. Around the globe, cities are already experiencing the severe impacts through rising temperatures, sea level rise, extreme weather events like devastating wildfires and catastrophic flooding and coastal erosion. This escalating crisis demands an urgent and comprehensive response. Today, we'll explore the critical role that urban planning and sustainable design can play in both mitigating climate change drivers and adapting our communities to be more resilient against inevitable climate impacts. We'll draw insights from the latest IPCC reports, highlight innovative practices cities are implementing, and examine the commitments emphasizing immediate climate action made at COP26 in Glasgow and the recent COP27 in Sharm el-Sheikh. The global effects of climate change are widespread and indiscriminate. We've seen the devastating toll of wildfires sweeping across Australia, submerging rains inundating Pakistan, and coastal erosion threatening major population centers like Miami and Jakarta. The risks posed by sea level rise alone currently endanger over 410 million residents of coastal cities worldwide. The IPCC has repeatedly stressed the urgency of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and fortifying infrastructure to withstand escalating impacts. But within this harrowing reality lies an opportunity as urban planning represents a powerful tool in coordinating an effective climate response by strategically shaping infrastructure, engaging local communities, and embedding sustainability into long-term development, cities can spearhead efforts to curb emissions while boosting resilience. Pioneering approaches like Singapore's integration of urban forestry demonstrate how urban greening can reduce heat-trapping emissions while cooling metro temperatures through shading and transpiration effects. With comprehensive climate-conscious planning, cities can adapt to confront present-day challenges while future-proofing for tomorrow's climate realities. Sustainable urban design initiatives provide a multifaceted path for both mitigating greenhouse gas emissions and adapting to localized climate impacts. Mitigation strategies within the new urbanism model, such as walkable, transit-oriented communities and energy-efficient housing, can significantly reduce transportation and residential emissions. At the same time, urban design allows cities to tailor resilient infrastructure and climate responsive development based on their specific risk factors. While Amsterdam and New Orleans fortify against flooding through levees and seawalls, cities like Los Angeles and Phoenix integrate buffer zones and wildfire-resistant building codes to manage that threat. The community designs, championed by new urbanist architects and planners, offer a blueprint for low-carbon, sustainable living. Elizabeth Plater Zyberg notes transportation emissions can account for up to 40% of a neighborhood's carbon footprint. Compact, walkable developments significantly reduce vehicular use while promoting active transit, like walking and biking. Street grids optimized for efficient transit routing and urban forests functioning as carbon sinks allow these neighborhoods to dramatically shrink emissions compared to conventional car-dependent suburbia. Smaller housing footprints with shared walls and amenities within walking distance further minimize per capita energy use. But urban design doesn't just mitigate climate change. It's also vital for adapting communities to withstand escalating environmental pressures. Cities are adopting a range of resilient infrastructure measures based on their unique risk profiles. In coastal areas, solutions like recreating mangrove forests, constructing breakwaters that double as marine habitats, and exploring resilient floating communities are gaining traction. The Maldives is already developing, an auto-responsive floating city to adapt to rising seas. Other vanguard cities like Parched Phoenix 
are reimagining the built environment around water conservation through green infrastructure, focused on stormwater harvesting and permeable landscapes. Urban centers like Chicago are turning to green roofs, reflective surfaces, robust tree canopies, and cool corridors to moderate intensifying urban heat island impacts. However, truly climate resilient design requires embedding defensive and adaptive solutions at the core of the urban fabric, not just tacking on token green infrastructure. This systemic approach is exemplified by China's Sponge Cities program. Launched in 2015, Sponge City Designs supplement conventional drainage infrastructure with an interconnected network of permeable surfaces, rain gardens, bioswales, urban forests, and wetlands, creating an entire water-absorbing landscape inspired by ancient Chinese hydrological systems. In Nanchang, we see the power of this integrated approach through iconic green spaces like the Nanchang Forest Park. Spanning 137 acres, this lush urban oasis isn't just beautifully designed around its unique volcanic rock formations and native trees. It functions as a massive sponge soaking up stormwater through its undulating permeable terrain. Similar transformations in cities like Qianan, Shanghai, and Wuhan demonstrate how retrofitting the built environment with natural watershedding elements can create a rainwater management system that also enhances urban ecology and quality of life. While challenges remain, from high costs to varying local climate factors, sponge cities showcase the resilience-boosting potential when sustainable urbanism principles shape city planning and design from the ground up. To fully operationalize climate-conscious urbanism, resilient strategies must be deployed across all scales of development. At the neighborhood level, programs incentivizing equitable tree canopy distribution and pocket parks can moderate heat impacts in underserved communities. At the regional scale, Systematic sustainable growth planning is vital for guiding future development into lower risk areas while factoring in potential climate migration patterns from high risk coastal zones and burned areas. Initiatives like the resilient new urbanist town of Newfield in inland Martin County, Florida, illustrate this multi scalar vision, offering a self contained 15 minute city model that could accommodate future climate-displaced populations. Ultimately, designing cities to combat and endure climate change requires commitment and collaboration across all sectors of the built environment. At COP27, the construction industry was spotlighted as a key lever for achieving net zero emissions and climate responsive development. From innovative architectural solutions, like Stefano Bori's vertical forest concept, which acts as a living carbon capture structure, to SOM's urban sequoia high-rise proposal that could produce bio-based construction materials, a sustainable building renaissance is emerging. But climate-resilient urbanism demands we think holistically about materials too, giving rise to sustainable alternatives like mycelium bricks and indigenous local techniques, leveraging conventional materials like bamboo, a circular, regenerative approach producing zero waste, lower embodied carbon developments must become the new normal in construction. The reality is no single city design, legislation or technology alone can solve the climate crisis. Truly transformative change will require collective and sustained action across all levels of government, industry, and civil society. Encouragingly, cities from Boston to Barcelona have already begun implementing innovative policies like renewable energy mandates for municipal buildings, urban heat mitigation measures like cooling centers, and even banning new school construction near major highways to protect children's health. But perhaps more importantly, 
a shift in public consciousness around sustainable urbanism and its importance for climate action has taken root. When communities fully understand the power of local participation, from embracing walkable neighborhoods and alternative transportation to supporting urban green space expansions, they can actively reshape their environments and resiliency. The climate challenge before us is daunting, but not insurmountable. By leveraging the integrated power of urban planning and design at all scales, we can construct a new paradigm of truly sustainable, resilient, low-carbon cities that function in harmony with the planet, rather than depleting its resources. Though the path ahead won't be easy, it is an opportunity to collectively reimagine our urban futures and heal the environmental impacts of past transgressions through responsive, regenerative development. If we reach this pivotal moment with determination and vision, the sustainable cities we build today can become the engines of positive global change and deliver a more verdant, livable world for all. Thank you for being here. While there's still a lot more ground to cover on the topic of climate change, we'll be concluding this session for now. If you'd like to delve deeper, you can find further insights in our article about climate change in relation to urban design on our website. You'll find the link provided in the description.